I was making a video and I was having so much fun doing it that I decided to make a second video using the same stuff but getting a different effect. So I was thinking, that was my kitty. Tigger is over there having a dream and making noises. So I was thinking, okay, so this is once again, uh, photo paper. It's very cool to play with. And I also have a piece of cardstock paper. So we're going to see what happens. Um, this one, I'm going to get a little bit of water on here just to show you what happens when you, um, we're going to make a background. So the water's on there. We're going to put a drip of purple, a little drip of purple. And just see what happens. A couple of drips of purple. Um, a couple of drips of blue. Three. Um, please, if you're going to use this stuff, take care you don't get it on your clothes. Because usually I have an old rag, like a bib, on my nice shirt. And I was forgetting, and suddenly I was like, uh-oh. Because I have a t-shirt on. But it is a cute t-shirt that I really like, and I don't want it to get all mussied. So, let's not let it get all mussied then. And so I'm going to let those three play for a second, and we're going to see what happens. what they do together on this. Whoa, looky there, we got some on the side. I don't really want that, because that's when, that's something we want to do when we're, when we're really, really having a good time. Okay, I'm gonna get a bigger paintbrush. This is a, a this is just a, a paintbrush, Craft Smart paintbrush, nothing big. So I got it a little bit wet. I'm just gonna kinda Move this around a bit and see what happens when we play with some inks. And we're, I have rhyme and reason for this. Um, we'll see if it works. I don't know. I haven't tried this yet, so this is just something that came to my mind and I was like, hey, let's try that. So I don't know if this is going to work at all. We're going to find out though. Inks might be too much for this. And if it is, then we'll, we'll try watercolor and it'll be fine. For those of you who have been watching my videos, you know I have uh, had a cold for like ever. But I think it is getting better. I think we're, I think we're on the tail end of it now. And if you see in this, that is color from the water kind of kind of took my water to a whole new level of purple and red and blue make purple and then I put purple on there as well so blah 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 there we go okay so I want this to be pretty much the whole thing so I'm going to just come along here and kind of touch along the areas and see if we can just get them to move just move with me we want the whole thing covered in color at least I do. When you do this, you may not want it all covered in color. I'm just going to splatter a little bit of clear water on there. You know, it'd be easier. This isn't anything spectacular. We could just get this little spray bottle thingy and just give it a little squirt. Gentle. Gentle squirt. And see we can get it to, to flow a bit just to flow to flow a little bit move a little bit see if I can find some really yucky rags these are just old paper towels and napkins that I have reused and reused and reused and reused and reused and, reused and, reused. and that's what I do because I don't see a need to keep on using new ones when these can just dry 
unless it's something that's just gross. You know, sometimes you have that. Okay, so see, I'm dabbing up some of this because some of it is just too much in some places. This is going to have to dry for a while. But look, the red is coming out in places that was hiding. I think this is going to be lovely. And the blue is coming out over here and the purple is still out there. But I think this is going to be absolutely lovely when it dries. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, I have to move this whole thing because it's on there and I don't want I don't want that to be on my floor because that's where it's going to dry. Okay, so the other piece of paper is like I said, just a piece of cardstock. Um, I'm going to first off play with a little bit of I think just the, the creamer um, I sprayed underneath it just so that it'll stay down a little bit so it won't buckle so much um, I was thinking maybe the creamer paints but then I was thinking um, what if uh, hold on okay so I was looking for a set of watercolor uh, paints that I cannot find but it's fine I got these from uh, Hobby Lobby I think it's their um, maybe it's a master touch I don't remember and it doesn't say which is that's one of those things everybody out there who's listening to me if you're gonna put out a product your product should say on the container what in the world it is so that when someone like me is doing this, something like this, we know what we're dealing with. And we don't have to look for it. Oh my goodness. So some of those little pieces. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> that's absolutely fine. Not a problem, not a problem. A little bit of... We're going to use the colors. That's okay. Okay, so... I am going to use, what paintbrush am I going to use for this? I'm going to get these all wet. Um, you guys have seen me smell paints. And new things I get. I smell them sometimes because I'm like wondering, what what does that smell like? This Mainly because of this set. This set has a smell. I don't like the smell. Um... But it's fine. It's not horrible, horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. It's not going to make you run for the hills. But it's not my favorite either. So I'm just going to get an old paintbrush. Um, this was my friend Doug's. When he passed away, they gifted me some of his paintbrushes, and I I use them all the time. Okay, so we're going to use some of these different colors. I don't know which one yet. Let's just start with some blue. Man, you'd think blue was like my favorite color or something. I um I like blue. Blue is pretty. It's not my favorite color in the world. My favorite color would be red. I like red, I like gold. Sorry, my neighbor's dogs are barking. Actually, they've been howling lately. I feel bad for them. They're over there howling. I think they're lonely. I think somebody might be working. They might be lonely. Anyhow. Okay, we're going to add in some green. We're just adding color. It just really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna add some color. I'm kind of making it darker in one spot, lighter in another. This is going to be a background. Doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. It's just a background. It's just a messy, messy color background. And for grins and giggles, one pop of, I think this is purple. 
Let's see. Oh, yeah. I mean, these aren't bad paints. They got good color. Um, yeah. I don't hate them. I don't like the smell. But it's fine. Okay. So, I'm going to hit that with a little water again. Yes, we're recording. I want it to be kind of just squishy. And I'm going to leave this wet mess here to dry as well. I'm also going to add to it a little bit of, um, it's such a tiny amount. We're going to do this the other way, the, the backwards way, I guess. We're going to put a little drip of purple of the Bombay Indian inks, a little bit of the blue, tiny on my table because I want this to be more, uh, I want to be a little bit more in control of this and a little dabble do you a red and yes, yellow ochre. Mm -hmm. I want to see how they're going to work with this is the thickest I've found. This is like super thick. Um, <clears throat> I always end up adding water to that one. Okay. So I'm going to uh, get rid of these real quick. Just getting rid of the water that I had there from the watercolor and get me some fresh water and still going to use this paintbrush and we're just going to get it wet and we're going to start with the purple. Get it in there and see what happens. You can see where the water is pooling. It's not going to do it. It's not going to go as far. But where it is just... Where, where it's just damp. It goes, it goes well. And I really like it. I like it a lot, a lot. A whole lot. Like a lot. Watch, look at, look at that ink. I mean, oh my goodness. If you think you can't paint, just try. Find a medium that is easy and forgiving, like the inks and waters and watercolor, and just try. Please just try. You, you don't know what you're missing. It's so relaxing. I don't like when people say they can't. They can't. Can't should not be in anybody's vocabulary. Can't is not a... It's just a word that means cannot. But the word can is in there. And yes, you can. Um, da -dum, da -dum. and some of that little uh, yo yoker yellow ochre <laughs> the yoker we're going to have some of that yoker in there I have a I have an idea for this Um, I don't know how it's going to turn out it may be total crap or grandma it may be super duper awesome I just don't know what do you think you don't know what we're doing yet <laughs> Because I haven't told you. But I don't want to lose all the colors. But I want a lot of different colors in a lot of different areas. You see what I mean? Do you understand what I'm, what I'm saying? Get some of this yellow and some of this red. We're just going to smush it around. I mean, this may not be your cup of tea, but um, you can't, you gotta, you gotta say that this is quite pretty. Even with just smudging around some different colors, watercolors, these are cheap. These are very, in it. sorry, I shouldn't say cheap, very inexpensive watercolors. So you could use Crayola. Or another brand. I don't even know. I can't remember all the brands right now. Um, but yeah. Yeah. That looks really good. I'm just going to leave it like that. And we're going to let both of them dry. And then I will be back. Okay. 
wow that's all i gotta say is wow those colors are popping i'll tell you what so i had an idea and part of it will still work part of it might not um this one is so colorful so amazingly colorful that i was thinking that we could um put stamps on it and Actually, I was thinking of like a Christmas tree, making it like a, a, a cute, fun Christmas tree instead of like the original green. But it's so colorful. This is the one that had the inks. I just don't think that the, that even my my archival archival black jet black is going to show up very well. So um, I think we're gonna wait on that one because I have another idea for that one. Now, this one though, I really like this one because like you could do like a cute little, like this little guy, you could do a cute little snowman because snowmans are coming on. It's about that time. We've had our first snow. You could put it a cute place where you have a cute little snowman. You could have a little turtle. You could do hearts for Valentine's Day or whatever. You could do a cute, fun little leaf. You could do a cute, fun little, and I think we should. So, dragonfly, I didn't finish that sentence. <laughs> I didn't finish the sentence, it's so silly. So, all I was thinking of was like, <clears throat> where? Where do we want them? And I think this area is the, like, got the most color. So, I'm thinking we're going to do that. We're gonna give this one a bunch of love and to see if it has enough on it I need to be able to see it. It looks pretty good. I did use my ink pad for a stamp I made, a turtle I made, that I draw this turtle all the time and so now there's these little peckly spots all over it. It's very aggravating. Seems like I can't get these little spots off. Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. So, what I was thinking is, you know, I have a video where I, I love this stamp. I want one of these. Everybody knows it. We're not. It's not anything exciting. But I'm going to push and push and push and push and push and push. And if it's wobbly paper like this, you can flip it over and give it a little rub down massage it give it some massage it you know just a little bit of massages and then if it doesn't get stuck to your table flip it back over and reveal oh that's cute see now i don't have to paint that i can just have it be because it's cute 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 always have your wipes around baby wipes are Amazing. You know, I'm not talking to the camera right now, but sorry. So always have your wipes around and then just give you a little give it some love afterwards. So that you can get rid of that some of that ink anyway. Maybe not all of it, but because it's archival ink, it is very, very intense and it likes to stay with you. It doesn't want to go away. It wants to be a part of your life forever. So we're going to do each one of these that I picked out and we're going to just because we can. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that one will go right nice right there. Hopefully I leave enough room for everybody. I know not. That's cute. That'd be a cute one for a Valentine's Day thing. Um, our, our leaf. I do like the green area for the leaf, even though leaves this time of the year are not, not, not all that green anymore. But let's try it right up here in the Kona. And when I'm quiet, that means I'm pushing really hard. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Very, very nice indeed. I like it. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And you can just get your, your wipey a little wet on a table. 
That's what I'm doing off to the side over here. I'm just getting my wipey a little wet on the table and just leaving it. Okay, so. Oh, we only have three more. Well, they seem to be a lot bigger than they are. Okay, so this is good. This is really good. Do, 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 do. Cute little snowman that I have had forever. I don't even know. Stamp of excellence. There's a phone number if you want to try calling it. I've had this snowman forever. When stamps became a thing, we bought some stamps. And I still have all of them. I have the ones my mom bought. I have the ones that I bought. They're just too cute to throw out, you know. And we still use them often. Wouldn't that make a cute little snowman on some, on a card? Oh my goodness. You don't even have to cut it out like like perfectly. You could cut just a circle around it. Any of these. You can fussy cut them. And um, had somebody ask me, what is a fussy cut? Fussy cut means, just in case you don't know, means that you get a pair of scissors and you cut it out. That's all it means. That's it in the world. Nothing but that. Where shall we put the turtle? Do, 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 do. We could put him right here in the green because that's what turtles... People always think turtles are green. Um, there are some that have a lot of green to them. But they have a lot of color, man. They have a lot of color. They're very colorful. I know. I love turtles. I am the painting turtle after all, right? Right. And then we have the beautiful little dragonfly. And I think it would be nice up here in this colorful area. I think we'll put it like this. Right? Like that. Just commit to it and do it, man. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, so I'm going to let these sit for a minute before we cut them out. Because the ink can be inky. But I think those are going to all look really cute. You see that? They're cute. Okay, so this bad boy. Uh, this is my idea. Sizzix. Thin, thin let, thin lets. Yes. Look at those. For like little baubles for the Christmas card, for Christmas cards or such. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and I'm going to see how many of these I can cut out with these lovely little dude bob malapies. do jalopies. do do maflogic. I don't know. I don't know what the word was I was trying for. But anyway, I want to see which ones I can cut out. If they turn out good, then uh, either way, I'm going to show it to you. But I'll be back in a minute. Okay. I am back and I have ideas. Um, so I went ahead and fussy cut this one. And I fussy cut the hearts. Because those are just adorable, right? They don't need anything extra. So we're going to put those over there for just a second. But then I did the bobbles like I told you I was going to do. Sorry, I had a little emergency there real quick. Suddenly something just popped right out of nowhere. Oh, don't you just love when you're in the middle of something and everything just kind of goes, uh, excuse me. And you're like, hey, excuse you. Okay, so I have some card bases. Um... I thought, okay, so if we're going to do this, let's at least see what it would look like, you know? So I was thinking that this this die that I have, and I used my Spellbinders Platinum. This is another set from Sizzix. Just awesome, awesome, awesome dies. And you can use them over and over again, and you don't have to have a uh, subscription to anything to use them. They're yours. And I use the bobbles, and those are not called bobbles. I don't know what they're called. You know what? Let's look. Let's see if we can just pull this out of here. I can't. It's stuck. Okay, we're going to just call them bobbles for now because we can. And then I have my oval dies from Spellbinders. Spellbinder is another awesome company. This is one of the first sets I ever got. And I used this little square for the turtle. And then I had to use my circle for this guy. Look at that. So I was like, oh my goodness. And we could, 
I'm not saying that I will. We could cut around his little arm and have it poking out. Or we could put this somehow where it looks like, I think that's good. Just like that, maybe. And I found my Christmas tree. I knew I had one somewhere. My Christmas tree, and look at how fantastic that is. I mean, just a whole bunch of those on, on a card would be so cool. But I have a little idea. I don't know which ones are going to go better on what. Let's just play around for like a second and see what happens. Okay? So, I mean, like, this don't... This, these don't have to be Christmas. It could be anything. It could just be as easy as putting a couple of pieces together. Like this is cool because you can like you can like weave it through. This is very very cool. Or or you could have your little your little Volkswagen bus on there. It doesn't have to be on black. It could also be on Lello with black in the background. It could be anything. You could have it just just sitting, driving through. And you could tell somebody, have a great trip. Because, you know, people are always taking trips there before. And then I can't pick up anything. And have some of that other colored stuff in the background. Wouldn't that look cute? Yeah, that's a cute little idea. Or, I was thinking of the turtle. Da -da 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 -da. The little turtle would be cute. It's something like this for its, like a little frame. And you could put a little, I mean, why does Christmas have to be trees? It doesn't. You could put Merry Christmas on here. And you have why why not why not that's what I say don't say why say why not if you want green with your turtle why not you could do that why not I think that's adorable that is very doable very adorable why not why not you could put your little leaf on there with your hearts up in the corner and say Merry Christmas some people may still have leaves on their trees around Christmas time. Who knows? I don't. And if there are, then they're dead. Because they're just... You could take this, have a little Merry Christmas on there. Wouldn't that be just the cutest thing ever? <gasps> I just love that. You know what? I'm sticking that. I think... Let's try it on red real quick. But with all that purple, I don't think that... I don't know if the red's gonna... What do you think? wish you could answer me. I really do. That's just too cute. Too cute for words. I think that's going to be it right there. I think we're going to glue that down real quick. Just because I can. And we're going to have at least one done. I know of one other one that I'm definite for sure. Oh, here we go again. Come on, you little goof potato. Let's go. Evans to Betsy. I love glue. I really do. Glue is my friend. Glue is the best. Make sure we're opening up the correct way. I like this little guy. He's so cute, people. He's so cute. And then we'll put this off center just a little. How cute is that? When I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, those two are going to go together. And you know, I didn't expect any of this to go together. Um, this was like two completely separate things. But then after I started looking at them, I was like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Those are like, those all go together. Look at that. Look at that cuteness. Oh my goodness, it's just too cute for words. Where is my little squishy thing? There you are that under that for a few minutes and let that just do its thing and then we'll put Merry Christmas on the bottom because that is my jam. I like snowmans and I like pretty little things but look at look at wouldn't this look cute look at that now I'm just saying I know that's a lot of purple but even if you did it on the red 
Look at how that stands out. That's nice. I like it. Let's try it on the green. <clears throat> I lose my voice on the regular ever since I had that gold. I am so tired of that. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Oh, it looks better in the viewfinder. Uh, is that what the fella, the cute kid, the kiddos are calling it in these days? They calling them viewfinders. Oh, that's it. That's the ticket right there. We're gluing that down right now. Right now. We're going to glue it because it can. And remember, the tree is made on uh, photo paper. Because, yes, I can still print out photos, but I don't. I don't print out photos. I don't know about you guys. Do you print out photos anymore? Do you? I want to know. Does anybody out there print out photos? Put them in a photo album, all that good stuff. Uh, remember when, um, oh, what do you call it? That crafting thing where you put all your photos in a, in a container, in a, you made them pretty. Pretty much, that's what you did. You just made them really pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this, people. That is, I know I moved over a little bit, but I still think that's really, really just cute. And see, it doesn't all have to be stuck down either. It can just be parts of it are stuck down. Okay, so we're going to put this one off to the side as well. Bloop! With a little something, something holding it down. Hold me back, people. Hold me back. Okay. So we did those. Is there anything else? That just jumps out at me. I don't know. That does have a lot of green in it. Wouldn't that be cute as some, some, no, seriously, somebody would get this and be like, happy, Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas, what are you telling me? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? Wouldn't it be adorable? And why not? Any of this stuff, why not? It doesn't have to be Christmas. You can do it for whatever. You can say happy fall. Happy fall. Have a great day. Whatever. You could put this on here and say, oh my goodness, the dragonflies are missing the leaves. Any of this stuff would go nicely. Do you know what I mean? It seems like there was one other thing. Nope. This is all there is. This is all she wrote. What if... I just seem to really like the green... For some reason, the green ones are just the bomb diggity, you know? What if, that's nice, nice and light, hey? Hey? <laughs> we could put like some psychedelic colors in the background for something like this. Wouldn't that be cool? Like, oh, this might be a thing. Move you over for just a second so I can look. Because we've got to think about this for just like a second here. Or we could do pink. Oh my goodness, I have a pink one. Pink and all that purple. Oh, those are just pretty. That's kind of cute. I don't know. It's not like... It's not like jumping at me and being like, dude, guess what? This is it. This is it. You take those two and put it with it. It's nice. It's very nice. I like it. I like it a lot, a lot. Let's see. I love turtles. It's all good. Ooh. What do you think about that? Pretty spectacular right there. I'm sad because my little my little dude doesn't look like he's going on a card today. Oh, that's pretty. What if we took this and this? Or even this and the square. You know, you do the squares and the squares. Ooh. Oh, I like this and I like that. Okay, let's glue those down. Like I said, they don't have to be a Christmas card. It can be an everyday card. It can be anything. 
La 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 la. Can you even see it? I've got them down there too far. Heavens to Betsy. I have to get better at this. Da 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 da. Oh, I just ate lunch and it is just. My stomach is just talking. It's like, hey, guess what? Boop -a -de boop -a -de boo. Okay. I think that is just too cute. And like I've said before, if you get too much glue in certain places, just maybe I didn't, but if you do, do that. Something clean. If you use a napkin that's got a bunch of colors on it and you put it on wet glue, you will or possibly could end up with a lot of color that you were not expecting. And then you'll be like, what in the world? Nobody told me that could happen. So it is good to take a clean paper towel and smash it to push it down. Oh, is that cute, hey? Hey? I live in the land of hay. Everybody says hey. Do I live in the land of hay? I don't know. Hmm. Didn't expect to make this many. Really didn't. Okay, so that one's going to hold that one down. I'm running out of room, people. I am running out of room. These could all end up being happy Christmas cards. I do not know. But right now, I'm thinking they're pretty cute. So I'll put those two like that. Put this dude, a little bit of glue, booby de boo, and that is just too cute. And you could say anything. You could put happy birthday right here. Oh, upside down, happy birthday. You could say happy birthday. And anybody who saw that would be like, whoa, that is a, it's a statement. Just like this one, sticking to everything. But while it's sticking to everything, excuse me, you move over, you move over. I'm going to scoot you up, move you over here for a second. And then we're going to real quick, 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 like a bunny. We're going to ink this little Merry Christmas. And I have another one. Where to, oh, it's right next to me. Ha ha. Do you ever do that? I just kind of completely lose what you're doing. Like, oh my goodness. And if anybody wants to know where I got this Merry Christmas from, it's Recollections. I got that from um, Michael's. So looky there. <gasps> How cute. And you don't have to do anything else with that. Just Merry Christmas. That says it all. Write him a little message in the inside. Sign the back. Tell him you made it. Heavens to Betsy. How cute is that? We're going to do the same thing on this one because why not? It's just too cute not to. I like it. I like it a lot. I may have to do these again. Oh my goodness. That is just the cutest thing. Okay, so... I cut out the this color in the one we did with the balloons on the last video. And I still have plenty of room on this one to cut out some more trees if I wanted to or some more of whatever I want to. So I think that this was a really productive little, little video. I'm not going to put happy birthday on there because I don't know what I'm going to put on there. Um, but look at this. We have... Where did... Hey, snowman, come back here. Look at that. Out of all that we did, we have four pretty little cards. Four. One, two, three, four. And who would have thunk? I wasn't going to make anything out of this. I was just going to make the stuff and then see where it takes me. Well, it took me to cards, and I think they turned out lovely. Loverly. Okay. I think that's enough. I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you make some cards and you send me some pictures of them at the hashtag the painting turtle 28 or you can do it hashtag the painting turtle. Um, 
go to YouTube, watch my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, say hello, leave me a message, say howdy doody friend, and um, share this video with someone else. And help someone who thinks that signing up for YouTube is a costing thing. It is not. You don't have to. You don't have to purchase anything to be on YouTube. There's a lot of free stuff on YouTube you can watch. So do that and let me know what you think. Okay. I'm gonna say much love and peace to you all, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Talk to you soon. God bless. Bye.